Hey, it's Mike from Health News Wires. Who doesn't love a good nap? Well, new research is showing that diabetes may be increased to the length of naps we actually take. So a nap, rest, siesta, whatever you call it, a nap is a great way to take a break from a busy day. However, the argument about the benefits as opposed to the risks rage on. Uh, Some researchers have identified cognitive benefits of a short midday uh, nap, and others have actually highlighted a connection between naps and adverse health results. Now, new findings have discovered that individuals who nap for long periods of time are at greater risk of diabetes, uh, indicating that naps of various duration impact the body in different ways. So this research took a look at nearly 30,000 men and women, and classified them into categories based on how long of a nap they actually took. The groups range from uh, no naps a day to naps lasting longer than an hour a day. Over 66% of the participants uh, napped on a regular basis. Uh, Increased periods of napping were related to increased risk for high blood sugar and diabetes. However, Individuals that took cat naps of under 30 minutes often had reduced blood sugar levels. While these findings do not prove a direct relationship between the length of naps and diabetes, it does cause reason to believe that diabetes could lead to exhaustion, which might result in increased napping. However, In many cultures, napping is the norm, and it's routinely practiced by any age group, and it's so common that it's unlikely that normal napping is caused by high glucose levels or diabetes. However, it could lead to high glucose or diabetes. So we know diabetes is a group of metabolic illnesses where the individual has high blood glucose due to the fact that the body cannot create sufficient amount of hormones, uh, specifically specifically insulin, to remove that sugar from the blood. Previous research has demonstrated uh, a connection between diabetes and the duration of sleep. It is feasible to consider sleeping in the day uh, as a way of interrupting sleeping at night. And what it may do is upset or uh, mess up the internal clock that moderates daily patterns of the body's process, including uh, the production and release of insulin. And um, long naps seem to, to do that. Short naps do not appear to cause the same result. You're taking a look at Biotrust's IC5. Uh, It contains all natural ingredients, specifically cinnamon and berberine, that have been clinically proven to lower blood sugar levels and decrease insulin insulin resistance. Easy for me to say. Uh, Here's a free download for you. It's called The Four Sneaky Tricks to Reduce Blood Sugar. It's a free download. It's full of important information about Lowering blood sugar, reducing insulin resistance, providing the foods that facilitate this, and showing several exercises that reduce blood sugar almost immediately. So click on the link uh, or click on the page itself and start taking advantage right away. Thanks for listening. It's Mike from Health Newswires.